Hey guys, it is me, Fuser Bunny, and welcome back to some more gameplay of Always Sometimes Monsters. So anyway, before we begin, I want to actually show you guys the options menu here really quickly. And it actually tells us, I'm going to use my mouse here to point stuff. So right now we're currently on day three, where I was mistaken in the last part. I thought it was already day four. So that's that. I don't know what couple means and fate. I do not know what these two statistic means. But journals, that means the number of pages that we've written in our journal and days left, actually. We have 30 days to survive um, doing good or bad. So basically, we're day three right now. So we have 27 days left and we have 213 dollars in the bank so these are some really really nice statistics and stuff plus it shows me like the playtime and it's it's really fun anyway i actually looked things up online because i just i wanted to do something with a dog i got really really scared so apparently if you guys remember in the last part the dog was supposed to uh the the, the place we went earlier to um, kind of sell the dog. It's not a place. This this cookie place. It's not a place to kill the dog. Actually, it's actually actually apparently, I actually heard someone that you can find something here. There we go. You found an indie heroes figure. Yay, cool beans. Anyway, what I was talking about is that originally I thought that they were gonna kill the dog and eat it for some strange reason, because uh, honestly that's what other cultures do. Uh, but they don't. This is a dog fighting arena. So, uh, yeah, okay. So he's starving. Um, look for... Okay. Should we try it? Okay, you know what? Let's try it. Anyway, so that was a dog fighting place. Not really the worst thing in the world compared to what I originally thought it was, but it's, it's fine. Okay, is... Are we... Is it? It's taking us forever to find food. Uh, okay, one thing that I also realized um, that is really, really difficult to come upon is food. Now, according to a tutorial that I read, we need to buy, or it's best that we buy a fishing rod, so it's a little bit um, more cost efficient for us to survive. Because purchasing things from the grocery or the convenience store tends to be super super expensive but before that i know what to do with a dog we can actually call the owner because we have the dog's number over here dog's wanted number okay so we're talking to the owner here hello is this dog yes this is dog i mean you've i've got a dog i've got a dog with me i'm not a dog right you want to sell it no I'll give you 100. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Hang up. I don't know. It's That's a little bit fishy. I still don't know, like, what to do with a dog. So, yeah, we'll figure it out. I'll look it up online. I, I, I hoped that it was actually... I, actually, it's here. This is the one that we need to look at. Okay, dogs wanted serious people only championship training and motivation program. Okay, interesting. 100 for a random dog I found on the streets. Not bad. I've got this phone number, I guess. Um, where's the missing dog poster? Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh my gosh, so many different stupid posters. Lost dog reward, please. Yes, that's the one number that we need to call. Cool beans. Anyway. So yeah, we need to actually just just take care of the dog as you know i have a dog and i loved my dog so much so as much as possible there is a freaking poster right there come on okay come on come on i did i was not paying attention at all anyway let's do it once again uh lost dog's owner there we go Yay! And the dog in the picture also looks like the dog that we have in front of us. Hello, hello! Hey there, my name's Kevin. I have some information regarding your lost dog. Oh my, oh my. Please tell me, have you found the little ladybird? Oh, ladybird's the name of the dog. Well, since I picked her up, her dog locket, the little scamp has been randomly showing up and following me around. 
Oh my god, oh my god. You found Ladybird. That is fantastic news. Please put her on the line. Uh, look, I'm not going to put your dog on the phone. What I can do is bring her back to you. Where can we meet? How about we meet at the Krusty Cream down on the main street? Sure, sounds like a good place to meet. Do they allow dogs inside? Seems like everywhere I go these days is anti-dog. Oh yes, of course they do. Krusty Cream is the first 100% dog-friendly donut shop. Ladybird and I quite enjoy their dirty mackerel and cheese sandwich. Uh, does she eat? Why am I not surprised by that statement? This dog freaks out at the mere mention of mackerel. Okay, I hope to see you soon. Please hurry and thanks again for finding my little ladybird. Ladybird, that's a really interesting name for a dog. Where were we supposed- oh, we were supposed to meet at the coffee shop. Uh, let's see, your crusty cream. There you go. Boom. And then who is this person supposed to be? Oh, I'm guessing it's probably her. I assume you're the crazy dog lady I spoke with on the phone. What? No, I'm not crazy. It's the crabby old people who hate dogs who are the crazy ones. Do you have my ladybird? I do indeed. Quite the loyal pup as long as you have the scent of mackerel on you. Oh yay, hello little ladybird. How's the mama girl? So about that reward. Yes, of course. How, I, how could I forget? This girl almost became our girlfriend by the way, so... Please accept this humble offer of my gratitude. The crazy dog lady gave you $75. You know what? I'll take it. I'm happy that the dog is back to its owner. Anyway, we need to buy a fishing rod. Now, I did not look up where to buy a fishing rod, so this is going to be interesting. I believe there might be some in the grocery store and stuff. So let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, I think they might actually not have any. We're not- I'm not sure. Did you find everything you were looking for? Okay, we're gonna buy... Do they have fishing rods? I don't think they do. Okay, it doesn't look like they do. Maybe at the meat stand? Nope. Come on. Come on, you guys. Where can I find a fishing rod? We're gonna look for it. We're, where's the other place where we can possibly buy employment center? Something marketing. That's an old apartment, hospital I mean. Look like an apartment to me. And possible futures, child development, something something. Ooh, this is like the place where we can buy tickets and stuff. Let's actually look at how much it takes to go to where we need to go. Uh, bye. Dubstown, okay, beaten 800. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of money. How are we, you know what, it's a good thing that, uh, what's his name, Jack offered to take us to Beaten, so we just have to wait for him to actually decide. But we need to buy a fishing rod. Vagabond dogs. That's a really cool. That's the name of the developer, by the way, you guys. Where can I buy a fishing rod? I don't think the arcade. I doubt it. You know what? I uh, should I look it up? We'll buy anything. Convenient. Maybe it's in the convenience store. Maybe. Uh, let's see here. No, they don't have it. Ugh. You know what, you guys? I'm gonna look this up really quickly because I don't want to waste too much time. So apparently we can get fishing rods at the pawn shop. Okay, fine. If you say so. <laughs> I don't know. Why would it be at the pawn shop? But you know what? Now looking at it though, I think... Yeah, okay. I get it. I get it. Oh, welcome to Down Sound Sticks. Oh crap, a pawn plus. Take a look around. Okay, we're gonna buy ourselves a freaking fishing rod. Just one. Look at this guy over here. Can we talk to him? Can't seem to catch a break with that blasted lotto machine over there. It must have lost at least- Oh my gosh. No, you've lost a hundred? ATM, my bank card. Yep. We're gonna deposit some money. 
we're gonna deposit about a hundred, I guess, because we do have like, uh, yeah, we're gonna deposit two hundred. Okay, we have a, a a balance of four hundred something. I don't know. Like, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll be fine. We're we're actually making some money, which is a good thing. So it's great. So let's actually go ahead and try out this fishing rod. Yes. I do- th where's the lake? I feel like there must have been a lake somewhere. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and actually just walk to a fishing venue. A fishing spot, I guess. I don't know, hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. There we go, I'm pretty sure we might be able to fish here. Let's go fishing, throw line. Okay, so I think this is gonna take a while. Okay. Amazingly ridiculous, we caught a big Bertha, yay. Okay, so this is taking a while. I'm probably gonna edit this out and then, um, yeah, just fast forward things to when we actually catch stuff. Okay, you guys? Oh snap, it looks like we caught nothing, but anyway, um, we did catch a bunch of really cool things. We caught some... Canal Carp, Big Bertha, and Lake Crab. So, I believe we can't- yeah, we can eat this raw, as weird as that may be. Uh, okay. Yes, and it gives us a lot of stamina, so that's great. Anyway, I think now that we've kind of gotten a good idea on what's happening, I actually want to check out the bar again and see if there's like any oper- what is this place? I- <laughs> what the freaking- okay, we're gonna see. Never mind. It looks really creepy. Okay, so let's just check out the bar here really quickly. Uh, oh, there was some sort of accident. The whole place is shut down. Okay, whatever. Anyway, I guess it's time to sleep. I don't think there's anything much to do. We already saw fishing. And actually, you know, let's check out the arcade. I love listening to this music. Yay, check this place out. Yay! We found another figure! Should we talk to the people? Welcome to the Golden City Arcade! What can we buy? Okay, no, we don't have any money for stuff, so... Ooh, there's like a secret place, or secrety place. Okay, nothing happened. So I think it's just time to sleep, I don't know. You're checking my swag, I know you are. Uh-oh. I was like, it's filled with really creepy people. These guys are pre pretty evenly matched. Okay, whatever. Can I not interact with these guys? I, I guess I can't. Oh crap. Oh crap. What the fuck, dude? You made me lose! Uh... Relax, kid. It's just a game. No sense getting bent out of shape. What were you playing? Oh, it's no big deal. It's dumb anyway. Only reason I'm playing is because of the daily top score holder get free pass swag fest. Problem is, this machine's already got wicked wicked high score. Nobody can even blah blah. Whoever left it, shit to legend. Swag fest, dopest show in the world, dog. It's hype. It's there. Bling rings, many dumb things. Haha. -ha. I'm so bad at this ghetto accent. Best part is they got free shit like everywhere. Everyone's just throwing shit all you at. I'm tired of talking to this guy. Okay, whatever. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, no thanks. No thanks. I don't want to spend my money... Um, without thinking about it. You know, I want to spend our money wisely, as lame as that sounds. We don't have any money, you guys, so we don't have anything to spend. And it looks like it's already morning, so... Whatever. There's a lot to do right now. Probably not a good time to sleep. What am I supposed to do? What? Oh! Maybe we should try to call Darkif. Okay, hopefully this is actually a, the right step. Oh, he answered! Hey, you- Oh, come on. Uh, no answer, apparently. Can we call other people? Uh, nope. What are we supposed to do? 
Okay guys, so apparently we're supposed to indulge that guy who offered us to play at the arcade. So we're gonna do it because we don't have a choice. Otherwise the game wouldn't progress and move forward. Okay, so... Yes, okay. I hope he's still gonna offer me the same thing. You again, you wanna test me? The score to beat is 150 points. I got a dollar to burn on your ass. Top score is 150 points. Step aside, okay. <laughs> this is so weird. Okay, look at the freaking <laughs> pixel art. What are we supposed to do? Don't hit the frogs? Oh, we're supposed to- ooh my gosh. What am I supposed to do? This is- <laughs> Okay, oh okay, so I, I, we're not supposed to hit the frogs. These controls are the worst. No! Uh, no, just to serve 195 points. Holy crap. This is so difficult. Avoid the cats. Oh crap. Of course I will. Holy crap. I just, I just, I am hitting people. This is awesome. Uh, die people, die people, die people. What are these like turd things? Oh no, 180 points. So what's my score? Don't kill the dogs. How can I- Oh crap. Oh come on. No, 220. I don't think it did bad. You're a top cop, new high score. Dude, seriously though, that was so lame. <laughs> that was all he can do. He, he actually did worse. Holy shit, 220 points. That's an amazing score. Yo, Joe, this dude's legacy. Now I got to beat- Fuck. Sucks for you, champ. <laughs> Sucks for you, chance. I don't give a shit. Come select your reward from this marvelous bevy of prizes. Cool. You wait up, dog. You gotta take that swag fast pass. I'm gonna buy it off you. Name your prize. Hurry up, we're closing soon. Coming. Okay, that spider ring is really pretty sweet if I do say so myself. Chicks love that chick, yeah? We're gonna buy uh, the Swagfest one, and then, good choice, the rest of this stuff is junk. Ah, oh, thanks. You got the Swagfest badge, and this guy really, really likes it, apparently, so. So you'll get the swag pass. I gotta have it. How much will you give me for it? Okay. Shit, my wallet's empty. If you come back to my place, I can get you square with whatever you want. Uh, sure, let's go. Bala bala till you holla! Oh my gosh. That was really surprised. I'm so surprised because it has like a different perspective and stuff. Okay, this is his place. Right, so welcome to my humble abode. Make yourself at home, but I won't have the jacuzzi ready until later. There's a cooler at the back. I think it's got some beer if you want. Make yourself at home. I'll be back out in a minute. Cool. Okay. This is very interesting. Never known when a tire iron may be useful. Uh, steal it. You stole tie iron. And then what's this place? Is this like a shed? Just like, oh, last beer. You found a light beer. That does not even look like it's beer. What's that talking kid so- what's taking that kid so long? Can we check out the swimming pool? Should we go to his house? Ooh. Yay! Here! Hundred! It's all I've got! A hundred bucks for this thing? Uh, no thanks. Fine! 125, but that's really all I got. Mmm, fine. Fine, 125 sounds about right. Chancey gave you 125 dollars. You gave Chance the swag fast badge! Yay! So why do you want that swag pass- swag fast pass so badly? Because my life is shit! I want to do something with it. I've been stuck here for months living with my batshit crazy uncle. You know, he's a drug dealer. My mom sent me out here after I got in a fight back home in San Verdano. She sent me here to scare the straight... To, to, uh, she sent me here to scare the straight or something. To scare me straight or something. It's all bullshit though. All I want is a chance to be big. For me, that's the swag fest. If I can get there, I can meet people. People who make things happen. You know what I mean? 
Oh crap. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, there's a shooting. Holy crap. Shit, that's him. What's that gunshot? Quick, let's hide inside the backyard. Where the fuck is my money, you little shit? Holy crap, this is not a good thing, you guys. Hurry, dog, he's coming. Oh crap, holy crap. Where are you? There you are, you little fucker. Holy crap, this is it. I'm so fucked up this time. I let you stay here. I fed you every night. No surprise, your mom dropped you. And then you go and steal my money? Don't shoot. You even took my last beer. Oh crap. Holy crap. Any last words, Chance? Hey now, wait a minute. Uh, We're gonna talk him down. Let's not go do anything crazy here. Let's put the gun down and we'll talk about this. Well, where is it, your little shit? The money from yesterday for that MM MDMA shit. I was on the coffee table and now it's gone. I told you no more fucking stealing. Come on, Uncle Don. Give me... Give a kid another tin. Is this guy a kid anyway? He does not look like a kid. It doesn't have to end this way, Don. There are options here other than blowing a hole in your nephew. Yeah, but then he wouldn't be robbing me. Come on, relax a second. We all screw up now and then. He has this chance. If my money's really gone, he's dead to me. Oh, this is so freaking annoying. This is so freaking annoying. What if he shoots the kid? What if he shoots the kid? Just take your money and let us go. You gave Don a hundred dollars. Come on, Chance. Let's get out of here. Crap. Holy shit. I owe you my life. I'm making my way to San Verdano. If you ever make it out that way, look me up. If you're the only person who ever gave me a shit, I won't forget that. Okay. And it's day three. Nighttime. Interesting. Beep beep. Message from Rockstar. Viper OD, get to hospital, need you. Uh, sounds serious. It's pretty late though. Visiting hours are over. I'll have to check it out tomorrow. Okay, fine. That was really eventful and stressful for me. Like, what the fuck, dude? So we pretty much didn't have any money. Yep. We pretty much didn't make any money. We had $25, but that's pretty much it. So I the um Kevin did say that it was late. So I guess it's time to sleep. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and look forward to some more awesome stuff tomorrow. Okay, it looks like someone's beeping us. Literally, we just woke up and this is what we get. Message from Rockstar. Where are you? <laughs> Where the hell are you? Viper OD Hospital. Okay, okay. He really really wants us to go to the hospital by the way. So do we have any stamina or something? We have no stamina. So we're gonna have to eat one of those crab things. Canal crab. There we go. I mean that gave us a little bit of stamina at least. So anyway, hopefully things get interesting. Uh, I don't know what's up at the hospital. Maybe a job or something. But it sounds really urgent though. He did mention it was some sort of an emergency, so... Okay, anyway. Where's the hospital again? I forgot where it was. Oh, there it is. Yay! St. Paul's? Enemita? Enemita? Okay, how do we get inside? Okay, let's actually talk to this girl. Welcome to Dubstone General! Okay, welcome to Dubstone General. How do we get to our patients? Dude, seriously. Oh my god! Oh no! It looks like the other girl got into an accident! Kevin! I don't know what to do! Viper! She! Oh, oh, Viper says she! She! Oh god, she! Are you okay? What happened? I've been trying so hard to get clean these days. It caused me to think about a lot of things. Some of it's still hard to understand, and even more of it's hard to swallow. But I realized that I couldn't be with Viper and stay clean. With her in my life, there would be amazing highs, but th we'd both burn out so fast, we'd barely live an instant compared to what I could without her. I want to do great things, Kevin. The stuff I'm playing right now, it's just a sample of what I can, what I know I can be. But that'll never happen with Viper strangling me. Jesus, you told her all that. I had to. At all, 
Ed, I knew this was a possibility. If it had been me instead of her, I know I'd be right here. She was trying to fix my sad, pathetic heart with a must junk as my veins can hold. But it was the right thing for me. At least I thought it was. Oh crap, my voiceover is so bad. You're not guilty of anything, you know. She did this to herself. You don't have any responsibility. Why the hell are you beating yourself up over something you can't control? Because I'm a fucking addict too. We're a for opposite ends of a seesaw, and if one doesn't go down, the other can never go up. Today she pays, and tomorrow I will, because that's the way it goes. There's no balance in this shit. We just take turns feeling sorry for the other. Oh crap, that's so sad. Look, I'm sorry, I can see her. Can I see her? Oh no, wow, that's actually really nicely drawn. This is so sad. What does, what's gonna happen, you guys? What? Is she unconscious? Is she, like, suffering from an overdose? So, who's paying for all this? I know you don't have any money, so I don't know how she can afford to stay here. The label's helping out a lot, probably because they're worried this story will get leaked if she's not taken care of. Since I told them I wasn't going to do the rest of the tour though, they were kind of close to the coin purse. I wouldn't be a problem if this fucking doctor had a heart though. Oh my. What are you talking about? The doctor is looking after Viper. He's an expert, the absolute best you can get in the city. He got the means to help fix her, but he demands all the money for his work. I can get I get that he's talented and invested a lot to be who he is, but that doesn't mean shit when people's lives are on the line. I swear I saw them kick an old lady out here the other day because her dead husband's military pension didn't cover her prescriptions. It's disgusting. Have you talked to the guy? Maybe he's not as heartless as you think. Ask him to do some work, pro bono? Pro bono? Yeah, why not? The least you can do is ask. I'm sure he'd listen to... Shit, see, I'm no good with those things. Come on, you gotta help me out. Go talk to him for me and work your magic. Give him a little scare and make him do what you want. I don't know about that, but I guess I could talk to him sometime. Where would I, where would I find him? He's a stickler for a routine. Every morning, he gets a coffee at the Krusty Cream. He ducks out early after noon to go see a movie at the Sunny Megaplex. And after hours, he probably he's probably at the Empire Pub congratulating himself. I wrote it all down for you. Take this. Okay, so we know where the location of the guy is. So that's great. Uh, there's no harm in trying. So I guess we also should talk to people. And okay, and it's. Day four, yay! Is it morning or something? I don't get this lighting. Can I actually pass by here? I can't. You know what? We're gonna do a little bit of fishing really quickly. Um. So yes. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and cast our fishing rod. Okay, nothing caught. Let's do this one more time. Hopefully we actually get something. I think there's other fishing spots. Okay, a large mouth bass. I think there's other fishing spots around town though. I might be wrong. Um, but, you know, let's look at the schedule really quickly of the doctor or whatever his name was. Doctor's note. Uh, morning, Krusty Cream. Afternoon movies, late nights, Empire Pub. Okay. So we need to check him out at the Krusty Cream. Oh my gosh, hearing that name sounds freaking awesome because I love donuts. <laughs> okay, it doesn't look like he's here though. So maybe it's the afternoon already or something. I don't know. I do not know. So let's look at the... Where is he at the afternoon? Oh, yeah, he's at the theater, I believe. So let's check that out as well. It's a raccoon and a homeless person. There we go. There is the doctor. That's a really weird place to meet a doctor, though. Dr. Barnstein, you got a second? What? Who are you? Uh, it's about a patient. I'm here about a patient of yours. Let me guess, that blue-haired freak... You know what, let, let's give him, like, an interesting voice, because he sounds like a dick. Let me guess, that blue-haired freak show wasting on a bed somewhere 
else could use because she's got no self-control she might as well get a member's rate she's in here so much she never with a penny in hand oh my gosh I, that one, I did that so bad if you're here to ask me for help for free no I won't do it I already told you big black friend that barely five minutes ago do you guys rove in packs uh, why not? Well, why not? It's a life, isn't it? Not all lives are equal. I disagree. Let that be a rather harsh professional opinion. I only have limited time to help people. I don't have time to judge people and money. It's a marker of one's ability to function in better society. Your friend, despite the glamorous dumpster grunge appearance, doesn't have any. You elitist bastard, please save me the Ivy League social justice bullshit. Your parents did it much better. Now, if you don't mind, I've got another two hours before my next patient meeting. Beside all that, I didn't come to own the old Huff's mansion working for free. Well, that didn't go as planned. I better go speak with Darkef at the hospital. Oh no, what are we gonna do? You know what, I'm not gonna give all my money to Dark if, like, seriously though. The thing is, I honestly, as much as I disagree with the doctor, I don't, I understand his point of view. I still believe that all life is equal, but I also think that, I don't, I, I definitely it's wrong, it's wrong to do drugs, for sure. It's not right. It does a lot of really shitty things to your body, so I agree with the fact that Viper did it to herself, but having said that, she still deserves to be treated. Okay, so let's just talk to Darkif. So I met the doc, real piece of work, he's a total asshole and won't budge on the bill. God damn it, we gotta do something, she's gonna die. We gotta blackmail him. What? A guy like that's gotta have some interesting dirt. We could break into his place and find something incriminating and use it to persuade him to fix Viper for free. He mentioned something about the old Huffenstetter mansion just outside town. If I remember correctly, don't mansions have any heavy security? Plus, we're not master thieves anyway. What the hell are you thinking? Well, then we can just go and smash up his car. That'll make him know we're serious. Ethics aside, that might actually work. Then it's settled. Whenever you're ready to go, just let me know and I'll drive you out there. Let's do it quick though, I don't know how much time she's got. I mean, is she really gonna die and stuff, so... She's not looking so good. You know what, let's just go ahead and do it. You ready to go now? Mm, let's do it. Okay, let's roll. Wow, this is a really posh place. I don't know why you insist on wearing that. It's so people can't tell who I am. Right, well, I'm sure we can find the computer or something somewhere around here if we look. Or we could just smash up that car over there and get out of here. Uh, hey, be careful. I'm sure this place is loaded with security security cameras and stuff. You're way too paranoid. Well, wait here. I'll go pick the front door lock. Okay, ooh. Dude, come on. We don't have all day. Come on, let's do this to Viper. For Viper. Okay. Find something good, then come back to me so we can get out of here. Gosh, I hope there's no security cameras and stuff. This is not a good idea. This is like not a good idea. Dog food? Weird. I didn't see him mutt around here. Steal it. So we got some dog food. Perfect. Oh, hmm, interesting. Looks like a weird altar thing. Okay. Some golf clubs. Take it. Foray! Or four! <laughs> you took that golf club. Is, is this gonna pan down? Nope. This is. Ooh, the lights! That was nice. That was a nice little touch, actually. Search the supply cabinet. Yes! Hmm, what do we have here? Oh, an Indy Harris figure. Perfect. Exactly what we need. A bunch of used Neelix, some of my little horsey's DVDs. <gasps> Looks like some kind of printer toner cartridge. You took the toner cartridge, okay, interesting. What is that supposed to do? Nice printer. It would be useful if I could find something on this computer to print. Yes, yes! Someone spilled some shampoo or something in here. An old looking couple. An odd looking couple. Yep. It looks like a duck and a man. 
a click trash bin. What is this thing supposed to mean? Click email. Open uh, password reset first. Blah blah blah. Hey there, friend. It looks like you've done a requested password reset. Here's the my face dialed, we believe, an identified identity for all our users to better wiki shape a brighter future for all mankind. Because of this policy, we no longer offer individualized passwords. Your request set password to Grizzmop has been declined. As always, you can access any my face with the following password. I am happy person. Okay, interesting. Uh, yeah, re let's return to email first and then are you avoiding me? Order confirmed. Thank you for choosing bulk and leading supplier bulk products. We appreciate your business. What did we get? I don't understand. Lubricant, dog food, steam cleaner, snack granola, and andro penis drop. Topical cream. Oh my god, what is this guy doing? What is this guy doing? Okay, um, are you avoiding me? Doc, you gotta help me. I've got this rash down the like on the like crawl space between the tops of my ass cheeks. And it's really annoying because every time I learn, I lean back in any chair and the spot gets tweaked and it like stinks my whole butt. I still don't have health insurance or anything. I really appreciate some advice on what to do about this whole pain in the bite bot situation. See even the darkest times, blah blah blah, Susan Wilson. Okay, what are we gonna do? Let's do the freaking, um, edit his my space or something? I don't know. What are we supposed to do here? Yes! Okay, whatever, it's... Return to desktop, I guess? Click email! Okay, what's into desktop trash bin? So it doesn't really look like he's hiding anything. Photos? Open travel. Oh! He's into teddy bears! Okay. Enter password. Uh, return to photos. Uh, return to desktop. What is that one password that he's mentioned? Grizzbob or I am happy person. Okay. Return to email. Return to desktop. Let's go to Grizz and me. Okay. Enter password. Well, this is fun. Uh, like Grizz. Mop. Nope. Okay, where's the backspace? How do I go back? How do I go back? Okay. Okay. Oh, password failed. You're kidding me, like, right? You know what? Okay. We're gonna go back really quickly. And actually, I'm gonna take a picture. Quick email. Password reset. Uh, Grizz. Oh, it's supposed to be. Oh, uh, I cannot. I cannot find my phone. This is the worst. Okay guys, I'm back. I actually took a screenshot of the passwords and stuff, so hopefully we're good to go. I uh, let's return to email. Let's return to desktop and go to photos. And then the Grizz and me one, enter password. And then you know what, let me just look at it really quickly. <laughs> so I don't make any mistakes because we only have two tries left for this password, so we have to like make this thing on point. I small letter. What? No. Let's do backspace. Let's backspace that first. I. Oh. Okay. So it's Grizzmop with small letters. Okay. I guess that's the right one. And of course, my phone's making so much noise. There we go. Hopefully this is correct. Yeah. Oh my. Oh my. I told you guys he was into teddy bear bullshit. Holy shit. I'd call that incriminating. Oh crap. I'll just go over the printer to print this. Yes. Okay. Return to desktop. Leave. And then we need to go to that freaking printer. Alright, you foul beast. 
<laughs> that was an innuendo for sure. You inserted the toner cartridge. Let's print this photo and get out of here. Oh crap. Yes, you grabbed the incriminating photo. I mean, could we not just email it to ourselves? Uh, okay, just give me a second to look around and I'll talk to you guys outside. Okay, whatever. So, he literally has a shrine to his teddy bear. Oh my, we can actually- hmm. Dear, Gri 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 Dear Grizzly Jones, you'll always be my little Grizz mob. Doc, okay, whatever. It's really creepy. So, yes, hopefully nothing was missed in our little endeavor, so... Yeah, and we're not gonna trash this car, because that's just illegal. That was some serious gross shit. Let's get the hell out of here, then before we get caught. That fucking gross... That's fucking gross about that teddy bear shit. I'll never look at the children's war the same way again. Well, that should be enough to convince him to help us. You should go... On, you should hold on to the photo. I'll send you a page when we're ready to go confront him. Gotcha. Let's not wait too long though. Viper's getting worse. Thanks again, Kevin. You're the best. Okay, cool, cool beans. That was actually quite nice. And it's nighttime already, so it's really interesting. Is this the exit? Does not look like it's the exit though. Anyway. So uh let's do some fishing really quickly and see how things are gonna go. I believe since this is the only fishing spot in town, there's not much of a choice. Uh, but I did read somewhere that the resources do get depleted and stuff, so... So yeah, anyway, I'm reading the thing. This might get a little bit sloppy. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, cool beans. Okay, so that's pretty much all we need to do is to do something with the doctor's blackmail stuff and we can actually call it a day. But we're gonna go ahead and go fishing really quickly. Um, um, and I guess I might as well talk to you guys um, about the game and stuff. So it actually is really nice, surprisingly. I'm really, really into the story. I love discovering more and more layers of, you know, like just Dubstown and Kevin and his friends, it it feels really awesome to, uh, just you know discover things and uh, move forward with the gameplay. I guess is what I'm trying to say. And it's it's a very different game from what I'm used to. You know, it's 2015. We're used to really really high graphic games and stuff, but. You know, this is a good departure from the usual series that I do on my channel. So I hope you guys continue to support me. Um, we're gonna eat something really quickly and then maybe we can call it a day. Actually, let's eat the... We have three of these, so we can go ahead and eat one of those. Oh, that did not give us that much. Big Bertha? Oh, you know what? Let's just do the lake grab thing. There we go. That's okay. I'll take that. And then, you know what, we might as well do a quick save really quickly as well. There we go. Save that. Okay, cool, cool beans. And I'm gonna send our guy to sleep. Um, and yeah, that is going to be it for this part. Once again, please don't forget to hit that like, favorite, and subscribe button if you guys had fun watching this part. Really, really interesting series so far, and I can't wait to see more of what's to come in the future. But anyway, like I said, that's going to be it for this part. You all have an awesome, awesome, awesome day. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.